Hi there, my name is Townsend Coleman. I am a voice actor on the voice of Michelangelo on the Teenage Mutant Ninja or Hero Turtles. Cowabunga dudes! And welcome to Hydra Collectibles, which is totally bodacious. We don't like rats in our fair city. Maybe I should just wring your stinking neck. Not so fast, homeboy. Uh, well, I, I actually started as a rock and roll DJ on the radio back in the States, in Ohio, in Cleveland. I was a, a, a DJ for 10 years on the radio. That's where I got into voice acting, because I was doing characters on the radio. And then when I moved out to Los Angeles uh, in 1984, I just fell into cartoons. It was not something that I even planned on doing, but I got a, 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 an audition for a character on a cartoon called Inspector Gadget. And I ended up booking this part. It was the role of Corporal Cape Man, and that's what launched my animation career. Yeah, and then from that point on, I said to my agents, please send me out on more of this stuff. This is a riot, and uh, I'd love to do more of it. And so they did, I did, and the rest, as they say, is history. So I was working on a show called Fraggle Rock, and I was the voice of Gobo on that. And uh, in fact, Robbie, Rob Paulson and I were both on this show together, and the voice director of that show, a guy named Stu Rosen, came into a session one morning and said, you guys aren't gonna believe what I'm gonna be casting and directing next. And he pulls out of his briefcase a copy of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle car uh, comic book. And no, I'd never heard of it before. And I looked at it and I said, yeah, yeah well, good luck with that. And, uh, but he brought us into audition, we did. And I got the part of Michelangelo on that. And uh, as they say, the rest is, oh, you've heard that before. So yeah, that's, so, uh, that's how I got turtles. No, well, of course, we had no idea that it was going to turn into what it turned into within just a few short years. And certainly, you know, 30 years plus later now, good grief, um, we uh, you know, just had no idea that it was going to be even this big all these years later, you know, being able to go to cons and meeting fans and stuff. So, no, of course, we had no idea. And... Uh, and I remember when we first started to get an inkling that it was really taking off was when maybe in its second or third season and we started having people, sh you know, showing up at shopping malls to meet us. We'd have people coming out to, to see us if we were doing a little, you know, gathering someplace, a little signing. Um, yeah, and, and then it just took off from there. Well, yeah, I mean, I've seen, now, so, don't mind me when I say this, but I never actually saw any of the three original Ninja Turtle <laughs> movies. Um, I remember when they came out with the first one, and uh, when we saw it in the trades, we saw it written up in the trades that they were going to be coming out with a live-action version of the Ninja Turtles, and we assumed, because we were the voices of the Turtles for three or so seasons already, at that point, that they would use us for the voices in this. And the closer it came to the release date, the more we weren't hearing anything and our agents were checking on it. They said, nah, you know what? We've got our own voices. We don't need your guys. And uh, we couldn't believe it. And so of course the first movie came out and didn't have us in it. And uh, the rest, as they say, is so, Anyway, yeah, so, but, I, but I have seen a couple of the films over the years and a couple of the other series. We had a great uh, privilege and pleasure of uh, doing a couple episodes of the 2012 uh, Nickelodeon series. And uh, the one that Robbie was not only, so they brought us original voices back for that, where the original 87 Turtles meet the 2012 Turtles in a thing they called um, trans-dimensional, uh, uh, trans Transdimensional Turtles, I think was the name of the episode. And uh, and Rob got to talk to himself, of course, because he was Donatello in the new version, Raphael in the old version. And uh, so that was a blast being a part of that.
Oh my gosh, I, I have seen so many cool things at conventions. Um, some of my, actually really my favorite things to sign are things that people have made, you know, custom stuff that they've made uh, that they want me to sign. And we've seen some amazing things. Uh, one pops to mind, I saw in uh, a con that we did in Las Vegas a couple of years ago, a guy brought along a, a full, I was gonna say full scale. No, it wasn't full scale but a, a fully um, articulated uh, model of the, of the turtle lair in the sewer that was incredibly detailed and had all the characters, but it, it just had everything in this thing. And it was this like diorama that you could see like top, bottom, the whole thing turned around. It blew my mind. And it was, I mean, guy must have spent months and months creating this thing, but it's stuff like that. You know, I, I just really love seeing some of the original artwork that people have done. So signing that stuff. I will tell you one thing that happened. One year a guy got, uh, he was in line and he came to my table and he had the original NES uh, game console that he had had custom painted with all the Ninja Turtle, uh, not just the colors, but the logo and our pictures. And I mean, it was a gorgeous thing, but it's the original working uh, Nintendo Entertainment System console and a cartridge of the Ninja Turtles game and controllers all completely custom painted it was beautiful and he wanted us to sign this console so the guy gave me a paint pen to sign and I said you sure you want me to sign it with this because these make me nervous because I've had experiences where I'd use a paint pen like that you know and you try and um, prime the thing to get the ink flowing and stuff and I've had them just go and smear and I was so afraid that that and he hands me the pen and he says no it'll be just it'll be fine I've already primed it and I'm like cool okay so I start signing cowabunga on it and of course the paint goes all over this thing and I was just horrified and the guy his eyes bugged out of his head and he said whoa, 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 don't don't do anything I said yeah what do you want me to do with it and uh, he said just just leave it just leave it um, he said I'll be back and I felt so bad but the guy went home came back the next day having cleaned off all that paint ink and uh, and then had me sign it in Sharpie the next day <laughs> so I didn't have to worry about that but yeah so that's one memory that comes to mind where I was like freaking out. In real life, IRL or, or or Michelangelo's. What's that? Real life. Real life. I just you know I'm just pretty much straight ahead, uh, mushroom sausage and onion, and uh, and extra cheese, a lot of extra cheese, and absolutely no pineapple. So that's in real life. But if it were Mikey, Mikey loves pizza. His favorite is anchovy and hot fudge, dude. Cowabunga! Whoa!